Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I'm here in California, San Francisco, and while I've been here, uh, I've had the opportunity to get my hands on this behind me, the new uh, facelifted version of my old car. Um, this is the 2020 slash 2021 facelifted version uh, Q60 uh, base model. So what I wanted to do is just drive it, you know, review it, sort of get my sort of thoughts, my um, my interests about it, and see what this sort of car is uh, is made of. Um, and how it compares to my old Infiniti, and whether it's uh, it's potentially a good option for my next car in the future um, or not. So let's cut to a little bit of B-roll. I'm here in San Francisco. A little bit of B-roll of the, the sort of the beautifulness here of California uh, and the beautifulness of this new potential Sharp Moves mobile. All right, let's check it out. So just jumping into a little sort of in-depth, you know, review sort of thoughts of this this vehicle. Um, you know, the lineage of the the sort of G37 now Q60, um, you know, is is pretty sort of refined and 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 pretty sort of what's the word kind of ad admired over the years. Um, so obviously it started with the Infiniti G35, and then the Prelude was the the sort of G37. Um, obviously offered in a bunch of different trim models and that was actually my old car so when they facelifted this vehicle um, I was you know I was really curious to see if they could sort of knock it out of the park the way they they first had done it right and I think a lot of people sort of set the bar high and had a lot of expectations for this car um, and so now getting my hands on it and taking a look at it styling wise I think that they I'm pretty sure they've done sort of a really really I shouldn't say I'm pretty sure I'm very sure that they've done a really really good job uh, so first off the big thing that I kind of like is this big sort of solid strong looking grille at the front with a nice big infinity logo um, I really like that that sort of masculine like strong sort of effect on a car with the huge logo I think it really sort of adds good presence to the vehicle um, so really really like how they've kind of knocked this one out of the park um, a lot of little air intakes and stuff like that along the front all non-functional um, but you know that's kind of what you get at this sort of price point so just coming around the side of the vehicle here you know we get 18 inch uh, nice sort of you know chromed out with a little bit of black sort of inserts almost on the on the inside um, sort of nice looking rims here um, I think N key is the company that that usually fits most of Infinity's sort of rims. Um, I think these ones actually look really really nice, just with the nice in Infinity logo in the in the middle there. It's a pretty good look. Um, I like what they've done here. Obviously the nice sort of you know air air intake, fake non-functional badging here with a three liter turbocharged um, badge. Looks kind of cool. Obviously the, the Red Sport, the top trim is a, is a twin turbo V6. This one is a single turbo V6, you know, offering, 
you know, in, in the range of sort of 250, 230, 80 horsepower. I think that goes up to three plus in the S and then 400 in the Red Sport, which is the, the top of the line. So just coming around, coming around, looking at the, the butt sort of back end here. I like what they've done, you know, continue the, the sort of nice, strong, hopefully you guys can pick this up, nice, strong sort of exhausts, right? Nice, thick, really sort of wide, again, muscular so, sort of looking exhaust i do like the, the the way the the back end of this one really looks it's got that nice chunkiness fl the flared sort of wheel arches um, a lot of sort of non-functional air intakes again um, you know that's infinity trying to make the car look stylish but you know not not functional at all here so nice little vehicle kind of cool how they've done this this is a little bit new here these little sort of little styling accent where it just kind of extends to the to the back the window extends a little bit something a little bit different right you don't see a lot of that in the uh, in the automotive industry um, but just just a really sort of nice nice sort of vehicle I mean I think if you're looking for entry-level luxury and you maybe can't afford BMW you know Audi uh, Mercedes this is you know obviously speaking from experience and my my years of ownership with a with my 2011 G37 this is a really really sort of good fit because it comes in at a, a much lower price point I believe this one's you know 40 45 and change um, and it offers a high degree of, of practicality um, and cost effectiveness right um, this thing literally like hardly ever well, I mean, I'm talking about my old one. Hardly ever broke down on me. It was very, very sort of practical, and I shouldn't say practical. Re reliable is the kind of word I'm looking for. The reliability that maybe you don't get so much with with Mercedes, uh, BMW. You know, the the German counterparts. You really do get that here. Uh, not to mention when you when you bring the car in to have it, you know, serviced. Infinity is obviously going to run you a lot less money than than again the, the German counterparts So this being a, a sort of wise option if you want to get into that two-door sort of sports car exhilarating sort of sports car Two plus two obviously it's got a back seat um, But at a you know on a cost of uh, efficient excuse me sort of basis I think this is uh, infinity in general is a good fit. So let's let's take a look at the interior here It's pretty pretty cool as well chromed out uh, door handles here with the keyless go right coming in all right you get infinity on the on the door sill here beautiful nice you know kind of tells you that you're in in something a little bit more luxurious very similar sort of interior to mine you know nice nice leathers all throughout nice soft touch leathers right all throughout mine had about the same uh, what is different in this one is the double screen now right and so if I get in here quickly and just kind of flick this on right the double screen is actually really really done well down here you get all your information you know your phone your information about the car you know the the diagnostics of the of the car all that stuff settings up top is where your your car play and your navigation and everything will be so the two kind of they, they work really really well sort of together then obviously you get your you know your mileage your tachometer your oil your you know your gas gauge all that sort of stuff um, the same as my vehicle a lot of good sort of information volume your back button your cruise control your cancel um, all this sort of stuff controlling your screens over here um, from the steering wheel which is, which is really really nice nice chunky leather sort of steering wheel again a big logo I really like that big logo you know you, you buy a car you take pride in the car you know you like to look down and see that nice big sort of logo the company that you're kind of representing so I think they've done a really really good job with this one really do like the sort of fit on it or the um, the, the finish of it I think it really, really looks good um, and just looking down here you know again you got your sort of your other way of, of communicating with the screens right touch for okay a little scroll bar right which which means that you don't have to be constantly reaching to your screens you can just kind of access it through here um, your drive mode selector here nice and simple just give it a little toggle boom look up there bang bang all right it's got your personal which you can you can tweak you know you can open the valves you can you can um, you know make the suspension a little a little softer 
Um, then obviously Sport is going to be the most aggressive, you know, holding the revs a little longer. Standard is just kind of your blase sort of mode. Um, probably, the, you know, the equivalent of a German comfort mode. Eco is, you know, obviously fuel efficient, you know, trying to, trying to drive it in the most efficient sort of way possible, you know, be easy on gas. Um, and then snow, I imagine will dumb down everything, make, the, make everything a little bit more bogged down um, with a little bit more sort of focus on, on grip um, for the vehicle, accessing the, um, the all wheel drive obviously, right? So you got a snow mode there as well, which is great. You know, being in, for me being in Philadelphia, even though we are in California right now, being in Philadelphia, I mean, I feel like if you have this car, you need all wheel drive, you need that snow mode. Um, and so, you know, for, for a buyer that really puts their sort of mind at ease. One thing I really do like about the new Infinities here is just the, the quality of the leather here. I like this little, the little stitching accents, but this nice sort of glass piece here again with that logo, this is something that's really, really new. And I, I really, really like that. That really looks sharp. And then just looking at the, the sound system, uh, Infinity's obviously still got a partnership with Bose. Uh, for all their uh, sound systems. Bose is a really, really good system. Really, really good sound quality. I was really happy with it in my Infinity. Um, this is the Performance Series, a little upgrade. Um, but just a number of speakers throughout the cabin, right? Really pumping that, that good quality sort of music through. Um, so just looking in the back seat here, you know, not a ton of space, two plus two, but not a ton of leg room in there. I had my buddy last night back there, he was about 5'8", and he said his head was kind of hitting on the top there, he was a little bit uncomfortable. So, you know, shorter adults could probably get in there comfortably. Kids, definitely a lot more comfortable, and you can see you got some space there for a, for a child seat and all that stuff. Couple cup holders, but I really don't think a lot of people are gonna be going back there if you own this car. I mean, I had mine for six, seven years, and I rarely put people back there. So, looking at a little bit of, little bit of the, the cup space here, the the, you know the space for your for your odds and ends you got two usb ports there you got a little um sort of i guess that's just a i don't even know what you call that like a headset sort of connector um an auxiliary sort of connector a little bit of space down there all right you got your your 12 volt connector as well a little bit of space for some stuff right nothing crazy two more cup holders here got my mask all right there's your lighter holder right in there a little bit of extra space and again in my in my experience i never really used that for much um one little thing that i would note is that a lot of this gloss black you know it, it it's always showing the dirt it's always showing the dust i don't really like it i don't i don't think it i don't think it wears that well it just just kind of always looks dirty especially in the sun when you're in california it's always like take a look at this it's just always looking sort of unkept right so, I mean, going with a carbon fiber or even this nice, like, sort of silver trim, um, I think is just a, a better bet. Uh, but just, yeah, again, on, on sort of, you know, just glancing around, you can see the quality of the leathers here. Very nice, soft touch with the, the stitching. Um, you know, chrome, nice sort of finished um, handles. Um, and it's just, just a sort of classy vehicle. It's nice um, for someone, again, who wants to get into that luxury sort of segment, um, but, but on, a, on, a, you know, on a bit of a budget, right? So very nice sort of vehicle. Um, I think from here we, uh, we get it out and, uh, and test out what the engine's sort of like in this, in this car. Obviously this one has a sunroof as well. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's take it for a little, little spin and, uh, and see how, uh, see how she goes. So obviously this one's a turbocharged engine. Mine was a naturally aspirated engine. Mine was coming in at 330 horsepower. This one's less. This one's 250, 270 horsepower with a turbo charge. So I'm interested to see what the, um, what the turbo lag and stuff like that is, is looking like. Cause I've heard there's quite a bit of turbo lag on it. So, um, let's give it a little run and see how, uh, see how we do. Cut to a little B-roll, let's go.
driving the Q60 with that in the background, beautiful California. Uh, heading down to the Fisherman's Wharf and uh, trying to get a few first impressions on this vehicle. Um, so the thing I noticed right away is it's got that same sort of, you know, two-door sports car sort of feel. Excuse my GPS there. Two-door sports car feel that my Infiniti did, right? It doesn't feel super heavy. It feels pretty nimble, um, which is good. I, I, I enjoy the feel of the, of the car. Um, as I said before, the car does feel quick. Um, but when I put my foot down, I definitely feel a lot of uh, a lot of turbo lag, a lot of it, right? And so, you know, where you where you can progressively pick up your speed, um, I think if you want that quick, you know, real fast, you know, acceleration, this car really doesn't doesn't have that. Or right? it has it, but it's there's a huge delay before it comes on. So it's down, foot down, nothing, 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 bang, and then it hits you, which um, unpredictability is not a big sort of, you know, likable sort of characteristic in a vehicle for me. Um, I want that torque to be there sort of right away um, and at all sort of RPMs. Um, so that's that's actually a huge, huge negative to the to the vehicle for me um, and one that I, that I noticed kind of right away. In saying that, the car is quick. Once it starts going, once it starts to accelerate, um, I do get a lot, a lot of speed. It, it's, you know, it's it's plenty fast um, once it starts to accelerate, but it's, it's just that initial sort of lag that really, really kills me. Um, while driving around, I definitely feel the smoothness of the, of the car. It definitely feels like you're in something a little bit more special. It, you know, it has that infinity sort of luxury sort of vibe. Uh, which I really, really like. Um, it, it feels like you're, like you're driving in something that kind of is, is gliding, um, you know, around. The, the suspension is very soft, very nice. Um, and then the steering is very, very tight as well. Um, they get that nice sort of sports car sort of vibe from it, right? Very, very sort of responsive. You know, when I, when I tweak on the wheel a little bit, when I turn it left and right, I really get that instant sort of immediate feedback with the road. So, I mean, that's, that's really, really good. Um, the other thing I noticed is that when I'm in here, all the windows are up and everything. It is nice and quiet, right? I do hear the road a little bit, but um, nothing, nothing obnoxiously sort of loud, um, which is another good little sort of selling point nice quiet sort of cockpit. Um, this one does have a sunroof, so I mean, if you want a little bit of sunlight to come in, if you want a little bit of sound, you can uh, you can get that sunroof down. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little quick little, little pull, taking a look here, foot down now, and then we go, right? You can see how the RPM sort of drop, and, and then it sort of comes on, um, but very, very sort of delayed. So I'm just having to chip around traffic a little bit here, trying to get in and out. A lot, a lot of traffic here in uh, in California. A lot, a lot of traffic, uh, which I'm not sort of huge, huge fan of. Um, but I, just just the price you pay to be in uh, in California, in, in luxury. Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, that's my kind of initial impressions. Uh, it feels good to be back in that nice, in a nice little sports car. Um, I think Infinity makes really, really good sort of sports cars. I really enjoy, you know, the brand um, and the reliability, you know, slash sort of, sort of ex exoticness that sort of, that, that just, whoa, just making sure I went the right direction here. Um, yeah, that, 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 that luxuriousness that you get with German vehicles, um, but for you know, sort of good price. I, I really enjoy that about Infinity. Um, and I think if you're in the market for you know for something a little bit special, um, this is a really really good buy. Uh, so I, yeah, I truly uh, truly recommend this uh, this vehicle to anybody who wants to who wants to get into something you know nice and sporty and quick and um, kind of luxurious. It um, it certainly ticks all the all the boxes um, yeah so I mean those are my impressions will I end up buying another infinity probably not I think I'm setting my sort of aspirations to something a little bit more luxurious a little bit more German um, that's kind of where I'm at 
right now mentally. Um, I think I've you know I've already done the the infinity sort of you know spiel, and I think now I want just something a little bit more sort of special. Uh, but I do recommend this car for anyone who's looking to get into this sort of entry level um, luxuriness, you know, <laughs> luxuriness, um, entry level sort of luxury. Um, it is a really really good good car. Uh, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, you know, if you guys continue to watch these videos, I really, really appreciate it. Trying to grow the channel. Um, please, if you haven't done so yet, and you love these videos, and you enjoy watching them, I know you guys do, please subscribe to the channel um, and support the channel. Um, you know, the, the more you guys support it, the more you guys subscribe, you know, like, comment, all that sort of good stuff, the quicker this grows, the more I can get accessibility to, you know, to, to nicer cars, and the quicker I can get into my sort of new, you know, dream car, the next next phase of my, uh, of, you know, of my life, and the next phase of this channel. So, subscribe, um, you know, share it along, uh, and continue to follow all the sort of mayhem, all the, all the fun stuff that we've got going on in this channel, okay? I'll see you in the next video when I'm back home in, uh, in Philly, all right? Cut to more some, some more B-roll of uh, the Golden Gate Bridge.